What's up, Devastator Squad? In today's video, we're going to be opening up an entire display of the newest Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel set, GX Midterm Destruction. Now, it's time for us Slifer Slackers to get our game on, but before we can do that, we got to ask ourselves the ultimate question, is this Speed Duel product worth picking up? Now, before we go ahead and review the set, let's announce today's giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one GX Midterm Destruction Speed Duel box to one of our lucky subscribers. All you have to do to the end of the giveaway is number make sure you smash that like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notifications bells on and number three leave a comment in the comment section below of what you think of this new speed duel set for those of you in the devastator squad that want to support our channel further we now have channel memberships active you can click join below to look at all the tiers and all the amazing benefits all right you slifer slackers it's time for us to get into the newest Yu-Gi-Oh gx speed duel set midterm destruction now i am so excited to go through this because you guys know Yu-Gi-Oh gx is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh. that was my favorite generation of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh. and looks like we've got uh it's gonna be some uh Sartorius action with our beautiful, uh, uh, you know, the wonderful Arcana Force cards. And we're, it looks like we got some, uh, Hassleberry, some, some gym. Cool. Okay. Okay. So there's four mini decks that come in here, plus a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, skill cards. And then there's that, what we're really want to see is our secret rare packs. So there's four secret rare upgrades that come in a set of 20. So we have an entire display that we're going to be opening up today for you guys. Uh, we're going to go through the, uh, you know, one of them, just go through all the mini decks first, and then we're going to go ahead and open all of our mini packs. So there's going to be six of these in total. So that's 24 cards. Hopefully we can complete the set. We probably won't, but hopefully we can i really want to find dandelion card trooper mystical space typhoon sakuretsu armor fossil dyna pack of cephalo there's so many cool ones in there <laughs> hey okay we got a lot of neos cards too like, like alias aqua dolphin there's neospatian grammal so we'll save those though for later let's get into our mini decks first here so we got uh there's gonna be four decks in here and then the mat so we'll put that off to the side and let's take a look. So looks like we got Jaden on one side and we got uh, Sartorius on the other. Yeah, I'm all decked out on my Sly for Slacker gear today because, man, I am so excited ready to rock and roll some Yu-Gi-Oh! GX stuff. I know it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video. I've been crazy busy, guys. For those of you who haven't seen yet, we are now officially sponsored with Paragon City Games of Sandy, Utah. And we have a lot of incredible stuff coming up on the horizon here with that store. And we will also be partnering with Game Grid of Spanish Fork as well. So we're going to have two stores that we're going to be partnering with on our channel i'm so excited for that so big thank you for all the support and helping us get to where we are and big shout out to brian and travis from those two stores for uh getting us uh started so this uh this stuff was provided today by game grid spanish sports so thank you so much big shout out to them so we're gonna go through our uh our beautiful i gotta love speed dude cards they're printed on the uh the, the card stock from ocg so they're glossy they're a little bit thicker they just they feel so nice we got neos we got neos alias good old card trooper Cross Porter Dandelion. Let's go, dude. I love this card. Neo Space and Air Hunter. So he's like right out of the box. You can just play Jaden Yuki, man. This is amazing. Aqua Dolphin, Dark Panther, the Glow Moss, the Neo Space and Grand Mole. This card won me a regional championship back in 2012. Holy moly. We got Neo Space Generation X for GX. We got Old Oversoul, the Contact Gate. Convert Contact. There's some really cool cards in here that like haven't been printed at Like this card, I don't even think it's ever been printed i've never i've never seen this one and uh <laughs> maybe it has been but dude i don't i do not remember seeing convert contact so they they do bring out like brand new cards of speed duel from time to time we got in shuffle Ooh, galaxy cycle that's a fun one we got next <laughs> hero blast a limit reverse okay we get aqua neos we get glow neos okay this is sick we got dark neos grand neos storm neos Brave Neos. Holy smokes. Okay, so Jay Nuki deck is crazy good. It's like literally almost card for card out of what he plays during that part of the uh, the show. Holy smokes. That's amazing. Okay, so it looks like we got uh, Hassleberry up next. One of my favorites. <laughs> I love I love Hassleberry. We got Ultimate Tyranno. We got Sauropard Brachion. Good old Sabersaurus for our Dino Rabbit deck. So let's go. Hey, Animador and Archosaur. Fun. All right, let's go. Here you go, Baby Sarasaurus. This comes Secret Rare as well. Oh my gosh. And also Fossil Dig. Dude, we got Black Velocity. Tyranno Infinity. Dude, let's go. <laughs> Destroyosaurus. Man, I love these. We got Dynabase. Let's go, dude. Dark Triceratops. The Gilosaurus. The Big Evolution Pill. All right, dude. Tail Swipe. Fossil Dig. There we go. We got Jurassic World. Space Time Transcendence. We got Typhoon. Survival Instinct. Volcanic Eruption. Paleozoic. Canadia. <laughs> it's real car bro dynatake let's go dude let's go that's so amazing i don't know if this car was ever printed either i don't remember this one in the legendary collection too 
Oh, uh, dude, Dyna Tank. That's amazing. Well, Arm Dragon level 10 white. These must be like extra cards. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, that's not played. The Cyber Dark Dragon, Hero Prisma. Okay. <laughs> Moki Moki. Let's go. Miracle Fusion. So, this is just like extra cards you want to add in to like make your deck better. Cause these are cards that were played by these characters. We've got White Veil, Survival's End. <laughs> Moki Moki King, bro. Where is where is the Moki Moki deck, bro? That should be in the speed. Yo, we got Wild Edge, sick. That should be a speed duel set, God. Konami, if you're watching, you should make a speed duel set. One of them should be of the uh, of the Moki Moki deck. <laughs> All right, so we've got our beautiful Arcana Force. Let's take a look at the skill cards first, and then we'll get into the uh, the Sartorius deck. There should be two decks in there. Uh, judging by the, the card on the side, the Living Fossil stuff, I, I feel like it's probably going to be a deck built for uh, Jim. But Jim wasn't in this season of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, so I don't know. We got Astro Phoenix, though. Zane Truesdale. There he is, Belowski, bro! <laughs> Just chill, bro! Just chill with the Moki Moki! Let's go, we got the Society of Light! <laughs> there he is, Jim Crocodile Cook. Let's go. I love that guy. Tyranno Hasselberry, we got Sartorius Kumar. I never knew his last name was Kumar. Never knew that. <laughs> we got Jay Nuki. Let's go. Get your game on. <laughs> Another Jim Crocodile Cook. Another Tyrant Hasselberry. Sartorius. And Jay Nuki. I wonder if those are all like the same skill. Let's see. Jaden. Uh, yeah. There's. Oh no. There's stuff on the back. Okay. That's right. There's double side. We got Cyber Dark Scheme. Moki Moki Madness. Dude. That's the best. We got Invitation to Society. Dig Side Inspection. Dino Brain Immunity. He's got like Dino DNA. So he's like, he's crazy. We got Magician Scales. Wise Man Neos. Major in Paleontology. Food Chain. Destructive Fate. Straight out of Neo Special and Shouldering a Destiny. I control my own destiny. Ooh. Oh, an Astro Phoenix deck would be pretty sweet. Too much of Destiny Hero cards. All right, here we go. We got Sartorius up on deck with the Arcana Force 21. The world. Arcana Force Zero, the fool, the magician, the empress, the emperor. He's such a cheater in the anime, man. He always makes his cards it's like on the right, the right, like, you know, thing. A temperance, the moon, the light ruler, Arcana Reading. There we go. I think this is a debut for this card. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this one. We got Light Barrier. Cup of Ace. Let's go. Fountain in the sky. We've got Valhalla, the Hall of the Fallen. Arcana Call. Reversal of Fate. Divine Wrath. That comes secret rare. we got By Order of the Emperor. Inverse Universe. All right. There we go. Sartori's deck. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. We got Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. This comes secret rare as well in the upgrade pack. <laughs> so does Fossil Dino Pack of Cephalo. Okay. We're in Jim Cook's deck. We got the Flint Kraga. Mega Rock Dragon, the Shell Knights, Weathering Soldier, Revival Golem, Big Tusk Mammoth, the F Fossil Tusker, <laughs> Medusa Worm, Time Stream, Pot Avarice, that comes Seeker Rare, we got Refusion, MST, Foolish Burial, Sakuretsu, dude, this card is going to look sweet if you can find that in Seeker Rare, holy smokes, huge upgrade for goats, we got Release from a Stone, Faint Plan, A Blasting the Fuse, Spiritual Earth, Fossil Dragon, Skull Gaios, we got Fossil Machine, Skull Buggy, and the Fossil Warrior, Skull Bone, and Last but not least, good old Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. All right. All gyms like ace cards are there. So that is super duper cool. All right, there we say squad. Really cool stuff on those mini uh, mini decks. Let's now go ahead and jump in and open all six of our secret rare packs. All right, Slapper Slackers. This is what we have been waiting for, the secret rare upgrade pack. So there's four in these ones, unlike in the... Um, Battle City one, there was like eight cards, I think, per, but two of them were guaranteed, or maybe it was six. I don't remember, but that was a fun one to do. Really, really like that one. So let's just, just take a look at these secret rares. We're going to go a little slow on these because the secret rares in Speed Duel are where it's at. If you're a, ca a card collector, man, and also if you play Goats or Edison, like there's some really good upgrades for your decks in these that come secret rare. You know, instead of getting the like the old school secret rares, the legendary collection two reprints. So, uh, let's take a look here at our pack number one. Okay, we've got the baby Sarasaurus. That looks so cool, bro. Oh man, I love these. I love these cars, man. They look so good. Look at that thing. All right, Jim Cook coming in with his uh, good old Sheila. All right, we got. Oh, yo, there we go. Mystical Space Typhoon. Looking good. This came secret rare before, I believe, in the Legendary Collection Yugi's World. But, uh, yo, since then, you know, this card hasn't had a really nice print. So this looks incredible. That's going in a goat deck for sure. <sighs> there it is. Let's go, dude. Danny Lion coming through, giving us those fluff tokens. Dude, this card looks so cool as a secret rare. 
Oh my god, it looks way better than the, the, the one that they did in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Legendary Collection. That thing is way too shiny. But uh, this looks nice. Nice and subtle, darker card stock with OCG coloring. And dude, this, this is premium. This is Dandelion right here, man. This looks amazing. Holy smokes, Devastators. That looks so good. And we got Card Trooper in the same pack. Yo, let's go. Good old Card Trooper coming in. Milling those three cards, getting that attack boost. And he draws you a card when he's destroyed. Let's go. Card Trooper looks so good as a Seeker Rare. I don't remember if he's ever been a Seeker Rare. I know he was an Ultra. He's a Super. He's been a Common. I think an Ultimate. But now I don't think he's ever been a secret. So this is huge. Dude, this looks so good as a secret rare. All right, so far, so far, I think this is definitely worth picking up. These are like 13 to $15, you know, somewhere in that price point. Uh, if you pick them up at a little game store or at, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a retail shop or whatever. So... For that price, you get four decks plus all these beautiful secret rares, and a lot of these cards have great value, like Card Trooper, Dandelion, Sakuretsu, MST, definitely Fossil Dynapacacephalo. Like, there is great value in these. Highly recommend for collectors and players to get this stuff. We got Ultimate Tyranno coming in. Good old Ultimate Tyranno. See, I love this, man. What? You can get duplicates? Okay. Ultimate Tyranno <laughs> once again. Yo, Divine Wrath though looking sweet. That looks so cool as a secret rare. Oh my gosh. The highest rarity for this is Ultimate Rare, but uh, from Rise of Destiny. But this secret rare looks really, really nice. And we've got Buddy. There it is. Devastator Squad. The secret rare Sakuretsu Armor. Holy smoke. This is going in my goat deck for sure. You know, I got the championship pack super rares, but like, they're worth too much money these days to play. So I would rather play something super shiny and beautiful. And secret rare is my favorite rarity in Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's get on. Let's be honest. So this is so cool that we can play a secret rare. Sakuretsu armor. That looks so clean. Dude. Okay. Ain't no slifer or slackers with these upgrade cards. Straight up devastators. Holy Oh, we got Neos in this one. Neos coming in, my man. Good old Neos. Elemental hero. A new type of elemental hero. Elemental hero Neos. Let's go, Jaden Yuki. All right, we got here he is. That looks so cool, man. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Holy smokes. Yo, there it is. Miracle Fusion coming in. That was already a secret, I believe, but uh, looks amazing as well. Like I said, the OCG stock is just so nice. I love how glossy the cards are. Look at that. When you shine, like, shine the lights over it. Pew. Let's get that beautiful gloss. So cool. Oh, there it is. Elemental Hero Prisma. Let's go. That is a really solid looking card there. Looks really nice as a secret rare. I think the highest rating for this before was the Ultra Rare from when it first came out in the Jump promos, but uh, this looks clean. Holy smokes. Good for your Gladiator Beast. And then we got the Arm Dragon Level 10 White for the Society of Lights. <laughs> Chaz it up, my love. <laughs> I love Chess Princeton. That's a cool looking card too. Nice, man. All right. We've got three left and we are already cooking right now with these secret rares. Holy smokes. These are so cool. Like some of the, yeah, I hopefully we find a fossil dying. I want to see it. I haven't seen a secret fossil dying in a long time. If I can open up the pack, dude, without, I don't want to damage the cards. There we go. All right. Fossil Dino. Another baby Sarasaurus. All right. We got the beanies. There we go. Okay. Okay. It looks so cool as a secret rare. <laughs> Ultimate Tyranno, once again. <laughs> we got three of them already. I think we're good on Ultimate Tyrannos. Okay, we've got Fossil Dig. Okay, that looks great as a secret rare with this version. This came secret rare in the Rarity Collection, but, uh, you know, the Rarity Collection cards don't look the nicest, in my opinion. Um, this looks way, this looks way better, way premium. Like, if you want the, if you want some non-QCR would be the, you know, the highest rarity would be QCR. If you want, if you want the next best thing, I would say pick up the Speed Duel Fossil Dicks for your dinosaurs. That is so beautiful. <sighs> oh. Baby, we got two Sakuretsu armors. That's how many I play in my goat deck. So, okie dokie. We're Gucci. We got two Sakuretsu armor secret. Look how good that is. Let's just zoom in on this one. Dark Lucius just be walking through saying, not today. Not today, you Slifer Slime. <laughs> Look at this. They're all red back there. <laughs> Making fun of myself over here. Sheesh. Slifer Slime, dude. All right, we got... Ooh, Gaia played the Earth coming in on this one. Interesting. That's a cool card. All right. I would love to see a Fossil Dino, though, in this pack. Come on. Let's see it. We got Gaia Blade, the Earth. 
giant. God, that looks so cool. Man, I just... I love the speed duel cards, dude. Dude, they're so sick. You got another fossil dig. That looks nice. These are so cool. Another fossil dig there. Another baby So He's got a play set of them. All right. Huge upgrades to the dinosaur deck. <sighs> Okay, not ultimate tyrant. All right, all right, all right. We got one left. We got one left, and we still haven't seen like any of the Neos cards other than Neos and uh, Fossil Dime Pack Zevlo. We're just seeing so many of those ultimate tyrannos. <laughs> all right, we got Neo Spatian Aqua Dolph, and this is a cool card. Woof, that looks so good as a secret rare. I can't remember if they made a secret rare in the Legendary Collection too. I think it was just like a super or an ultra back then, and then uh, there was an ultimate, obviously, from its original printing, but. Uh, Ooh, got Elemental Hero Neos coming in here. Looking clean, my guy. Ooh, another Divine Wrath. Okay. Okay. And our final card. Can we get a Fossil Dino? Nope. We got a third Fossil Dig, though. So we got full upgrades for the Dinosaur cards. Three Fossil Digs, three Baby Sarasaurus, and a lot of Ultimate Tyrannos. But overall, these cards are so incredible. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Midterm Destruction, is it worth it? I would say absolutely yes. I think these Speed Duel products are like such a huge home run for anybody that whether be our player or just a collector or just want to casually jump in and play some fast-paced quick Yu-Gi-Oh with your friends I think the speed duel products are where it's at for that you get those quick decks to just jump in and play play with some of your favorite characters from the anime you get those amazing secret rare upgrade cards which are just so premium looking they feel nice they look nice and they're just incredible value overall these cards are worth a lot more than what you pay for it for the box itself so, but yeah, definitely, I would highly recommend picking these up if you get a chance to. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our patrons because without the patrons, I can't make any of the content on the channel. So, thank you guys so much for all that you do. I want to give a shout out to all the channel members. Thank you guys so much for joining and being a part of the Rescue Squad. And I want to give a huge, big, special shout out to our King of Games, Dogma, and Captain Leif, and the one and only Austin Winch Obliterate. If you guys want to support the channel further, you can join the Patreon by clicking the link in the description below to get access to free booster packs, giveaways for signed cards, booster boxes, and so much more. And I want to give a huge special shout out to all the tier 3 patrons, Austin Winch, Condor FJ, Esso Spartan, It's Coops, Rogue24, Severus, and most importantly, my mom. Mom, thank you so much for being a tier 3 patron. I love you so much. Devastator Squad, you guys are absolutely amazing. Until the next video, you Slifer Slackers, stay awesome.